Hey guys, this is Mark with Hallmark Pool Supplies. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about the five biggest chemical mistakes people make when adding chemicals to their pool. Most of these mistakes I see on a daily basis, so definitely stay tuned because you're not gonna to wanna to miss this video. Okay, so the first mistake is adding chemicals to a swimming pool when the filter system is off. We definitely wanna make sure that the filter system is running and that we have circulation in the pool when adding chemicals. So the next mistake that people make is adding chemicals to the pool and then backwashing the filter system. You definitely do not want to add chemicals and then backwash. If you need to backwash, backwash first. And if you have to backwash after adding chemicals, do so after 24 hours. If we backwash after adding chemicals, you're not doing the pool any justice and you're losing your chemical content. So the next biggest chemical mistake that I see people make is balancing the pool in the wrong sequence. For an example, if you have a chlorine pool, the first thing we wanna do is we wanna balance the pH. Then we wanna balance the alkalinity. Then we wanna balance the calcium. If there's any metals present, then we can address that at that time. And then we can add chlorine. And then if needed, we can add algicide. It is very important that we balance the pool in a certain sequence. For an example, if I have to add chlorine to a pool and the pH is off, we want to balance the pH first because the chlorine will become less effective. So there is a reason why chemicals are put in in a certain sequence. However, sanitizer to sanitizer, it can vary, and I will make videos in the future going into a little bit more detail pertaining to this. I do see this as a common problem where I see customers struggling to get their pool balance properly, and a lot of it is because they're adding chemicals in the wrong sequence. Next on the list for chemical mistakes is overshocking a pool. So as an example, I like to use calcium hypochloride. There are different strengths. And as a rule of thumb, we're adding one pound per 10,000 gallons, but it is always best to follow the manufacturer's directions because there are different strengths of chlorine shock. This last chemical mistake is one of the biggest, and I see this quite often. Customers coming in and not knowing what their gallon capacity is. It is very important to know what the gallon capacity is in your pool before we treat the pool. If not, we are going to be over treating the pool or we're going to be under treating the pool. So if we want to treat it and balance the pool properly, we need to know the gallon capacity. So if you don't know what your gallon capacity is, I'm going to post a chart on the screen and you guys can pause the video and take a look at it. And all you got to do is fill in your information and it will help calculate the gallon capacity of your pool. So now you will know exactly what you're working with. So hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. And if you guys have any questions, the fastest way to get in contact with me is through my Patreon page, where I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. At this time, I would like to thank all my subscribers as well as my patrons for your support of this channel. And don't forget us at Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. I also want to thank everyone for watching. My name is Mark, and I'll see you guys on the next video.